And it's a question of what is it that one seeks? I was talking to another group the other day. There was one particular commissioner and one particular minister. It was from a European thought. He very seriously, we were discussing like this. He said, <coughs> because the complaint was the BWSP drains getting blocked, water system getting drained, compound walls being broken, cars getting hurt, people couldn't walk on footpaths. All this was due to what? <coughs> One element, tree. The tree created all these problems. Morning, so you right in front of us during the discussion, we heard one sound in the office. Went around, some motorcyclist fellow skidded on one of the branches, fell in the ditch. And the car fellow following him, looking at him, dished on the other car. Now all this, why? Because of the tree. What if we don't have a single tree in the city, except in the parks? Initially, I, I said, it looks brilliant. Why not? It solves 100% of the problems. And I said, ah. how do you answer this question? How do you say no to this? I agree, there's green, beautiful parks at every place, growing everything you want, and clean trees, no suffocation, nothing. Illa, sir. Immediately everybody said, no, we want trees. I said, then you have to suffer the other problem. Because even in my, my own office, I find the roots are very clever, they go underneath and come through the floor. Even here, I have a feeling one root is trying to get inside here. How do you play with nature? You are technology, art, science. Trees are trees. It's like keeping mosquitoes away or snakes away or monkeys away. You can keep few things away, but how do you keep? It's a I think that's what makes architecture more interesting in each place.